Hi, today we're going to study rose and the wisterias or garden flowers. Also, we'll learn how to paint cats. Roses are my favorite flower, and uh, also my wife's. She's a poet, and uh, we have uh, grown uh, more than 30 roses in our garden. And I observe them every morning uh, once uh, for a while, and uh, I took about uh, several hundred pictures of uh, their uh, different uh, uh, roses in different uh, time and uh, uh, stage of uh, blooming uh, to study. So it become uh, my uh, mind image when I paint. Uh, I can see them in my mind. Um, my wife is uh, also a poet, a Chinese poet, and she has written uh, a poem on roses. Uh, Here is the calligraphy we have on our above our window. You know, when we in the daytime we can see the roses in the garden, uh, and this is the poem that describes roses. Uh, the title is about roses. Rose in the garden smiles. Rose in vase speaks. Rose in book tells a story. And rose in mind that you can see forever, or you can see as always. By Victoria. <coughs> However, roses are not a native flower to Chinese or Chinese culture. Uh, so in classical Chinese painting, we rarely see roses. Uh, but uh, my teacher is uh, very uh, good at uh, roses. And this is one of uh, my lessons I took from uh, my teacher. Uh, he painted uh, live roses very good. Right? It's very real, realistic. And uh, as to Wisteria, um, this is very classical uh, Chinese uh, subject matter, Chinese painting subject matter. Uh, I have uh, two pieces from my teacher. One is uh, dated uh, 1975. And this is a uh, more uh, last works, uh, his age of 80, he did this and uh, sent it to me in a letter. I love this uh, color contrast. Still, you know, he, he until the last day, he stayed with uh, this kind of style. We call it uh, uh, small or little freestyle, not the great freestyle, the spontaneous style. He always uh, um, emphasized on the characteristics of the flowers or the birds. So it's a um, more realistic expression, but not, uh, you know, um, as uh, other artists, uh, when they get old, they get uh, really uh, bored. He is very kind of a uh, um, gentleman that, uh, you know, not radical, you know, that kind of, not conservative. Uh, he is open to new uh, subject matters and techniques, but he is, uh, uh, like I said, his style is, he tried to maintain the mood that's peaceful, not get mad, you know, when you, uh, you can do that kind of barbaric uh, spontaneous. And this is more like a civilized spontaneity, I would say, style. I mean, and now it's time to practice. Uh, I will show you the uh, steps with the uh, handouts. Now let's do one by one. 